All right, uh, I've been doing a lot of work recently on the firmware for uh, our Cartesian robot. So I wanted to show off what I've been doing. Uh, spent the past day making a custom library for controlling our stepper motors. So um, what you could do is, so for example, if you're starting up a new sketch, you could go to uh, import library, and that's my custom library, and it will do a pound include statement that will include everything that's required to use this library. So uh, that's pretty easy. Uh, let me show you kind of what went into making that. In your Arduino sketch folder here, uh, there's a libraries folder. If it's not there, you can create it. Inside that folder are all the custom libraries that you have. So this is the one I just made today. And then you've got, uh, well, three files here. Uh, the one, let me quick look at here. Uh, this is the .cpp file. This is really where everything's done. So. This is where you've got the the declaration functions here. So this is where you would set up um, using this for a motor. So you could make a case for a X motor. Here you could make a case for a Y motor and a case for a Z motor. And these are all uh, different instances of this custom case that we've created. And uh, so that will define everything it needs to do for that motor. And then down here we have another function that's actually for making the steps. and. Uh, using this function all you have to pass it is the direction to go uh, whether or not you want to invert that direction um, is pretty easy to change so you send it the direction you want it to go and this will basically take one step with uh, one of the predefined methods so we have a wave drive uh, a half stepping method a high torque drive uh, and then micro stepping going from 4x micro stepping all the way up to 64x micro stepping uh, so all those are in here so all you know in the code uh, in our firmware, all you have to type is this CPW stepper dot take step, and then if you want to go forward, put true in here, and that will take one step using whatever method that you predefined when you initialized uh, this statement here, which is uh, declaring the different motor types. So if you had declared it to have 64x micro stepping, it will take one step of that 64x micro stepping so it's really easy to use and it really simplified the Arduino firmware but it was really neat to be able to actually make this library uh, there's also a header file here which is pretty simple that this is really just declaring your variables um, saying what variables are private what variables are public uh, and these public variables this is basically what uh, external code could use so the Arduino this is the only things that it's calling are these two functions and that basically does all of the heavy lifting that we no longer have to have in the main code going on our microcontroller. Uh, I also made a, uh, if you go to file examples, I have an example here, which is uh, an example for how to use this library. So like I said before, you could declare uh, different motors. Well, I've declared this is on the same axis because I only had one motor hooked up to the machine but I declared it with all of the different stepping methods. So you can see over here, I'm using wave drive uh, all the way through our highest micro stepping drive. So this will move the same motor, but it will move it using different drive techniques. So then uh, the, the code that's looping over and over, um, there's, a lot, there's a lot of stuff here, but really all it's doing is it's taking, uh, in this case, it takes 200 steps using wave drive method. Uh, and then here it takes uh, 400 steps using a half step method and it changes the direction you can see we've just added the uh, the not operator there uh, then it goes to full torque 4x micro stepping and then it only goes to 16x micro stepping because uh, that's actually pretty slow uh, I'm not sure if it's the Arduino's clock frequency or if it's the frequency of the PWM outputs that it uses but uh, you know even if I add you can see I've commented out delays here so if I have no delay in the code and literally all you're doing is trying to step it as fast as you can. Uh, 16x micro stepping is, is pretty slow. Uh, 4x and 8x are both usable, but uh, these other ones are really made for much more high precision uh, applications. We're trying to drive a lead screw, which is already changing our rotational motion to uh, a lot smaller linear motion. So we don't really need to be getting into things like 64x micro stepping or anything like that but this example you know so if you put this library if you put this up online for someone to use uh, you know they could download it add this custom library and then really easily be able to control stepper motors they could look at your uh, example here to see you know the different statements that you want to use like how to actually take a step 
how to define a motor, things like that. So it was really neat to be able to do this, and uh, this is now implemented in our Arduino firmware, and it really helped slim things down. So I uh, just wanted to kind of show that off because uh, it took a, a pretty good while to make it all work, but uh, it's pretty neat to have. And so we're able to do really simple micro-stepping uh, and really easily change the different drive techniques that we want to use for the different motors. So that'll help a lot going into the future.